Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ve hamdülillahi rabbil alemin Ve salatu ve selamu Aşkı mursalin Seyyidina ve Mawlana Muhammed al-Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bi madadakum an azalkum seyyya rasul kareem ya habib al-Zim Madad ya seyyidi ya sultani al-awliya ma shaykh Amr al-Fayz al-Daqistani Sultani al-awliya shaykh Muhammad Daad Maad al-Haqqani Mawlana shaykh Hisham Kabani shaykh Adnan Kabani shaykh Muhammad Adil Nabdi Khaliq al-Khushdawani Sahih Zaman Sayyidi Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam Ruhullah Sayyidina Ayy Salim Ayy Salam Sayyidina alayhi salam Umar Sabbaka Sadiq, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al-Hasan al-Salam, Imam al-Husayn al-Salam, Sayyidatina Fatima al-Tazali salatu al-Salam, Wa Sayyidina Imam Jafar al-Sadiq alayhi salam, Wa Sayyidu al-Sadatina Wa Siddiqin al-Fatiha. So Allah address us and bless us from this passing of uh, Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq shahadat and the martyrdom of uh, Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq and that Allah address us from the light and the blessings and the immensity of the oceans of realities that the uh, holy soul of Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq represents and carries. We pray that just the drop of that light be just upon us and that we be under their shade and intercession on Yawm al Mashar and to eat at their tables in the Divinely Paradises inshaAllah. Fa'auzu billahi min shaitanir razeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Atiya Allah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself, an abduk al ajeezu, da'ifu, miskeen, zalim, jahan. And but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence and we took a, a path of nothingness. And this month, the month of the ocean of Allah's immense rahmah and that immense mercy puts the servant into solitude and to find solace and happiness in yourself, by yourself, with yourself. To understand the self means the, the difficulty of trying to be with myself and understanding what's happening with shaitan when he keeps the servants in last days so busy. He doesn't want them to be with themselves and recognize and have an aha moment because the soul and the higher consciousness that's always in Divinely Presence, Allah doesn't give us everything to destroy on this earth. The higher consciousness, the higher portion of the soul always in Divinely Presence. And that reality is continuously sending communications to insan, to people, but they don't have ears to hear it. That's what Allah described, you have ears but you don't hear. And the depth of that understanding is that we're using only dunya, we're only occupied by dunya. But Allah is saying that your senses all have two, you have a hearing and you have an inner hearing. So you're not hearing yourself and the guidance and asharat that coming to yourself. And you're not seeing what's really in front of you, you see only the eyes and what the illusion and delusion of what the eyes are showing you. You're not looking with the eye of the soul, you're not hearing with the ears of the soul, you're not breathing with the breath of the soul, you're not touching and feeling with the feeling of the soul. That's when they were asking in one of the nights before, oh that you know if we take this path do we, do we leave love and everything that's beautiful? And we said that the analogy of the seed hasn't heard anything, the seed hasn't seen anything and the seed has experienced nothing from Divine love, Divine grace, nothing. All that the seed has experienced is a superficial level of the material world and that's it. But when the seed is planted and annihilated in the soil, lost in this soil and love of Sayyidina Muhammad because it's an analogy that the soil is, is to be thrown into a Divine Ocean 
in which the ocean rips apart the seed, takes away the importance of the form and brings out the reality of the soul which is a luminous tree, its size can't be understood, the depth of its root can't be understood, how deep that soul can go into realities and the fruits that bear from it is unimaginable, that it's, it's never ending. If all the oceans were ink and all the trees were pens, the uh, rewards and treasures of this treasure from the Divinely oceans would never end. And that's the immensity of, of this way and this month is the month of solitude and the realities of being by oneself and why shaitan keeps people to be busy, that they're busy from the minute they wake and then make them pass out quickly so that they don't, don't have a moment to think, a moment to contemplate, a moment to think that have they done everything that Allah wanted from them, is there a consciousness that they should be thinking about, is there anything they've done wrong and that's He keeps them in a, in a state of complete ignorance and that's how the material world is run. For people to actually say that, I want to slow down, I want to contemplate, I want to think and think about what we're doing with our lives and what we're doing with our time and how are we going to reach towards these realities and what we've done wrong with ourselves. And that's where the secret of that reality lies and that's why shaitan doesn't allow anyone to make tafakkur, contemplate, meditate or even just to make their salah without making tremendous amounts of waswas to break the connection. So we pray that Allah give us more and more understanding, more and more support. This way once they teach its realities then immediately is how to achieve that. And that's why then the teaching of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad that once we understood the supreme love for the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad is the madad and the support that of a physical reality that his love for us to be with us. And don't deem them dead but they're very much alive in their grave, Allah says in the Qur'an for shuhada and the, those whom have been martyred in Allah's way, who's above the station of martyrs? The Prophets of Allah And Allah says in Qur'an, you deem them to be dead because you, you have eyes but you don't see, you have ears and you don't hear and you have senses and they don't feel. And those whom their senses are alive and they feel and hear with what Allah wants them, they know they're very much alive. The Hayat al-Barzaq and the reality of their life, their light and what Allah has given to that light, then we understand, oh to achieve all these rewards we have to keep their company, keep their love. And Prophet promised that you be with whom you love. So when we love those whom Allah loves, by virtue of that love and muhabbat you keep their presence. The strongest presence is by love. It's not by maqs, it's not by you, you studied hadith and you, you memorize hadith and you, you memorize this and you memorize that by your brain and virtue of your memorization you think you want to be with someone. It's impossible. The real, the real and the reality of companionship is love. When you love them more than you love yourself you have to know with all your soul of course they're always with you because you love them. If you're capable of loving them more than yourself and at every moment you think of them, how to please them, how to do good towards their way, how to, how to make them to be happy with you, then of course you have khushiha and softness and contentment within your heart that I did my most and I'm continuing to do my most to show that love. And with that love comes that companionship and the confidence of that companionship and that's what Allah 
The highest of sadiqeen to be with Sayyidina Muhammad If you're keeping that love, that salawat, that immense reverence of course then Prophet light with you, all the sadiqs, all the sahabi, all Ahlul Bayt, their lights with you. If the uh, Sultan of all creation putting his holy love upon your soul, imagine then all the love of all holiness is continuously wrapped around that individual soul and that becomes the madad, that becomes the support in which to the servant to elevate into the Divinely Presence, elevate from uh, bad characteristics and, and satanic characteristics towards the oceans of Ar Rahman inshaAllah. We pray that Allah grant us to the opening of Zul Qidah of the holy months of Allah and the immensity of the reality of eleven in which Allah begin to reflect the Divine the Presence upon the souls of what they reach towards annihilation and the reflection towards that Divine the Presence upon their souls to complete their hijra into the Divinely Oceans on the twelfth month. We pray that Allah gives a life in which to see that in the next few days opening up inshaAllah and that we be dressed by its lights, blessed by its lights inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi Surat al-Fatiha.